What's good, y'all? Tea in this thing. So there's a few things that I obviously want to do this year, and the first thing is presets. So I do now have presets, but this isn't like a huge bundle of like 30 or 20. This is a small pack of five. However, these are the top five that I use when I'm editing. You know, you may see most of them on my grid. You may see the other few on my stories when I post there. So if you want to check out the pack, you can go to TashaJolly.com. And then of course, just scroll down. You'll see the Lightroom preset there. Click on it, you can view to see if you're interested, but I am gonna go ahead and go into Lightroom right now and show you the packs. All right, so jumping ahead, you've downloaded it and it's in your downloads now. So to install it, all you wanna do is go into Lightroom, click on this plus sign, import presets. And then you wanna go to the folder where your download is. It's gonna show T Jolly Preset V1, import that. And then boom, it's gonna show up on your presets side. Of course, if you wanna unzip it first and save it and do all that extra stuff, it'll be the same thing. You'll just go to the folder that you saved it to. All right, so opening it up, you'll have your five presets. And I'm gonna start from the bottom up because Fall Grid is my favorite one that I literally use all the time. That one is like one of my favorites. So I'm saving the best for last. So take me back. It just kind of reminds me of, you know, going back in time, sort of speak to, you know, the older times. And so it is a black and white photo, just in case you want to get that look. And pretty much this one is like a one and done if if you didn't want to do any edits. So I'll just erase all of this just to make sure nothing is there. Take me back, boom. And of course, like any other preset on this earth, depending on how you shot the photo, it may or may not look good. So if you have like a well-exposed photo, depending on what kind of preset you're using, you may or may not have to make adjustments. Or also depending on your style, you may or may not have to make adjustments to the photo. So this one, if you think there's too much blacks, you can always add some blacks, add some shadows, you know, whatever you wanna do to it, you can always make adjustments there. So yeah, that is Take Me Back. Now moving up to Soft Teal and Orange, and it's pretty much exactly what the name is. It's just a soft teal and orange. So if you have a photo that has a lot of highlights in it, a lot of bright, all of that is going to be that teal color. And anything that's in the shadows is going to be orange. Not too punchy, but the title is soft, teal, and orange. So obviously I have a lot of highlights in this photo and some shadows, so that's orange. Another example of this would be this. So obviously it's separated at the top with the sky, with those highlights, so that's gonna be teal. And then on the bottom here is the shadows and kind of over here with the bust, that's going to be orange. So soft, teal, and orange. Obviously, again, if you wanted to make adjustments, you can. This one is one where you can pretty much just use on any photo. So there's this one, we have a beach, and I'm just resetting all settings just to make sure there's no corrections. Uh, soft, teal, and orange. Now, again, with the presets where you may have to make adjustments, this one is a little bit too bright for me. So I may just pull down the highlights and maybe a little bit on the exposure, and then I'm kind of good here. So it's really just to your preference, but that is soft teal and orange. Now moving to punch me in the face. Obviously, again, it's kind of what the name says. It's very punchy. So it's um, not, I'll just show you. So we'll go over here to the horses, reset all settings just to make sure. And punch me in the face is very in your face with the colors. And it's not, if you go over here to the right, it's not the saturation or the vibrance because I have that kind of turned down. It's actually within the hue sliders. So I have pretty much everything on the saturation on the hues towards the right. So it's very punchy. So if you say like, whoa, that horse is like way too orange. All you have to do is come down. You can adjust the orange how you want. If that's more to your liking, cool. And then another example of punch me in the face is this shot right here. So obviously, you know, we don't have any corrections. And then when you go to punch me in the face, it's very punchy. So again, if there's any photo that you took and you're like, whoa, all you have to do is come over and make some adjustments. But for the most part, you know, if you like this style or if you want to keep it that way or whatever, 
one click wonder. All right, moving on to number four, which is called Fix Me. Now this one isn't for just your average, like punch me in the face, soft till, take me back. It's more so if you took a photo and it's kind of overexposed and you just want a quick one and done, bring down the highlights, bring down the exposure, things like that. That's what that does. All right, going over to this photo to make sure, reset, nothing is there. So Fix Me, obviously, Boom, there you go. It's a subtle difference. It's not too extreme, but here is a side-by-side, -side basically showing the difference in the Fix Me. And so this one isn't necessarily for color, so if you just wanted to start with a base and then add your corrections, then that definitely is an option. And then another example of Fix Me, we'll just go over to this photo for it to be known. I don't like my face in it or just, uh. But this was last year on my birthday, so. Happy birthday to me in this photo. Actually, my birthday just passed not too long ago. But anyway, so you can see the highlights over here. It's pretty much like clips. So we're gonna get as much back as we can. Go over to Fix Me and you can see the difference again. It's just a quick one too. So then obviously if you want to come here and bring down the highlights and bring up the shadows, I mean, it's definitely just up to you at that point. So it's just a quick Fix Me Upper. Moving on to one of my favorite, absolute favorite presets. This one has been with me since a long time. Like when I first made this preset, I was like, all right, this is automatically my number one. Obviously I use all of them, but my fall grid is because the grid part, <laughs> that's pretty much what I use on my Instagram is this presets because when I first started getting real heavy and posting photos I would only use that preset but then when I wanted to stretch out that's when I started making these other presets so like I said all of these presets you'll either find my photos on my Instagram or of course on my stories when I post photos there but anyway getting into the photo we'll go over here all right fall grid people boom and I know some of you are like, really? That's what we waited for? But yes, like look at this before and after. And if you've been on my Instagram, you'll be like, oh, okay. Like, yeah, you are right. This is pretty much like the opposite of punch me in the face. So where obviously punch me in the face was very, very punchy and the hue saturation was almost to the right. These are like all the opposite. So these are all like muted on the hue saturation slide and not very punchy and it's just kind of like, not necessarily moody, but you still kind of get that like edgy kind of look, sort of speak, kind of like that urban-ish feel. So another example of this, this one is also one where you can use on a lot. So I'll go back to this photo, reset that. And this is this one on fall grid. Let's see here. Also this one, I'll reset that. And this is what it looks like on fall grid. This pigeon bird whatever fall grid i mean this one definitely goes for almost every photo any photo again depending on how you actually shot your image so if it's not a good photo it's not gonna look good on a preset as far as like lighting goes but yeah this one you can pretty much use on any photo i just went through a whole handful of photos and it looked great and let's get one more for a kicker. Let's see. My honey photo. So reset all settings, punch me in the face. Now, obviously, again, I cannot preface this enough. Depending on how you shot the photo, your style and things like that, you may want to make adjustments. So right here, I may want to adjust the orange in my skin a little bit like barely, it was like a small tweak. And then obviously, you know, if you wanna make some other adjustments and like Photoshop and things like that, you know, I don't know your style. It just kind of depends on what you wanna do. But yeah, these are my first five presets. I only did five because these are really like the only five that I actually use. And I don't wanna just throw anything together, if that makes sense. But all right, y'all. So that was the Lightroom preset pack. Once again, you can go to TashaJolly.com, scroll down, you'll see the presets. Or of course, at the top right, you can click shop and get it that way as well. And if you do end up getting these and using them, don't forget to tag me on your pictures. I love to see when people do different pictures that I've done or recreation. So if you do use these, tag me. But all right, y'all, I'm out.